Yo, what is up guys? How are you doing today? There's a different subject we're gonna talk about today. A pretty concerning subject. As you can tell from the title, we're talking about kidney stones. Why we're talking about this? Well, I'm going through one right now. So it's a pretty scary and crap experience. And I saw online a lot of people have questions when they deal with it. So I'm here to talk about my experience and hopefully it will help others that are going through this right now. And also it will be the reason of my absence from 8th of May from the channel since that's where my ureteroscopy I can't even pronounce it right surgery is about to be performed but let's start from the beginning so on 28th of March at about 3 30 a.m I woke up with some huge pain in my left side on the back I thought I pulled a muscle maybe because I also worked out the day before and I was like okay maybe I pulled a muscle maybe I twisted too hard in the bed but the pain was so hard that I had to get off the bed I couldn't stay I couldn't sleep no nothing I walked around the house didn't know what it is but in a way instinctively you know what it is I don't know how to explain that so essentially I walk around the house I didn't want to wake my girlfriend up yet because I wasn't sure what's going on I was doing stretches i was trying to lay down on the floor funny thing if you sit on your knees or in a child pose usually the pain subsides just a little bit you instinctively do that <laughs> So after a back and forth stretching and realizing that the pain doesn't go away, although when I sat in the child pose it went away for a bit, I was quite happy and when I stood up the pain just came back full force. I had no idea what to do. So after two hours roaming around the house, got myself some ibuprofen. It did not work. The pain was still there. I was like, okay, I'm gonna wake my girlfriend up and tell her that I'm gonna call the ambulance. So I called my private uh, medical care ambulance. They came up. They told me almost straight away, yeah, you have a kidney stone. I was quite shocked and I was in a lot of pain. Even some ladies that dealt with this will tell you that the pain is even a bit bigger than giving birth. It's them saying it so I can't contradict them. <laughs> so they gave me an injection with something that would calm me down and also dilate my let's say urinal ways and they recommended I do an ultrasound on my abdominal area. So of course after I slept a little bit at 8 a.m. I woke up with the same pain and of course they prescribed me some medication like ketoprofen which helps more in this situation and another medicine for the lower abdominal area of pain and i called my medical provider and scheduled an ultrasound in the afternoon they told me to drink a lot of water and not urinate before the scan so i went to the ultrasound the machine was old and it couldn't actually print my results which was pretty annoying i was still in a lot of pain even though i was on a in some medication so essentially my pain was from a 10 out of 10 to about a 5 so i could manage to walk up there since it was a pretty long distance and yeah the doctor there said okay you have a a kidney problem or something we can't see it fairly accurate but i'm gonna give you a recommendation to go to the emergency at our hospital that is nearby they gave me that i went to the hospital they immediately did a lot of checks on me uh, they asked me how my pain was and i said it was about a four five out of ten they rushed me into a ct scan after that they gave they gave me some iv treatment that would subside my pain so I could actually, you know, be aware of what's happening. And the CT scan showed that I had a 5.4 millimeter stone in my left ureter, which is essentially what connects your kidney to your bladder. And it was stuck there. So essentially it was 75% on its way out. It got stuck. And when it gets stuck, urine flows through. And if, it, if the pressure builds up because the stone is blocking the way, that's what's swelling your kidney and essentially causes the pain. And they also saw another almost two millimeter one in the kidney but they said not to worry about that at all even today so the conclusion was yeah it can pass on its own if it's under six millimeters it has a chance so they prescribe me some medication uh, basically they they give you an anti-inflammatory a painkiller and an alpha blocker essentially to manage the pain and to keep your ways open your ureter open and they said if that's not gonna pass and you're gonna be probably in a lot of pain too then uh you're gonna have to do an ureteroscopy which essentially they put a stent and they go up with a camera inside your penis right up to the ureter and it will see where the stone is and they essentially either get it out or they break it with a laser if it's too big. So I was like, okay, a lot of info to take in. So I'm like, when do I know it's the emergency? Well, the urologist said then that usually when patients are in a lot of pain, that's when you get rushed in. The patients ask for it themselves. <laughs> so yeah, I went home. 3 a.m. next morning, pain started again. I took my painkiller and stuff. The pain subsided, thank God. And I could actually sleep until oh, the morning. 
I did work that day because I'm working from home mostly, so it wasn't that much of an issue. And I did not try to drink that much water because the doctor said to not drink that much because I could build up a lot of urine again. And then again, I'm going to be like in a lot of pain and I'm going to be rushed to the ER or coming to it myself. So I was controlling my liquids, let's say. And then two days every night, the pain would come back at about 8, 9 p.m. It usually hurts at night. I don't know why. And uh, with the medication in 20 minutes, the pain would subside and I could sleep pretty well. A week after that, I went to get a second opinion and they said, yeah, we can't see the stone yet. We can't see it in the bladder, so it's probably still on its way. But if the pain subsided, it's okay. We can wait it out a little bit for two weeks, maybe, and we'll see what happens. That's a week later, right? Then I was waiting, even got this supplement called uh, Cystone. I don't know how to pronounce it in English, but I'm just going to put an image right here. I would take four of these a day. I would drink some tea that is supposed to clean your kidneys or something. It would make me go to the bathroom a lot, which, which is good. You need to urinate a lot so you can build up that pressure to push the stone out no big development happened after those two weeks i had no real pain but the amount of pills i was taking was kind of starting to bother me at the stomach level so whatever i ate it, it would give me a stomach ache so i was like okay let me just not take them unless i'm in pain weekend comes and i wasn't in pain at all the whole weekend and i was like damn maybe i passed the stone who knows a five millimeter unnoticed could be possible apparently from what i understand some people need a surgery for three millimeters some people can pass even one centimeter stone out so sure but then the next tuesday which is the third week the pain started again not that hard and not that up my back if that makes sense it was a bit further down from its first position and i was like okay i'm gonna take my pills and if the pain was at 8 a.m so it wasn't any big loss of sleep let's say took the pills everything was okay and then i went to a third opinion and basically that doctor just rushed me to the surgery he was like yeah you need to get it uh, there's no way and uh, at this point i kind of got annoyed because the surgery is not cheap at all so i'm like dude are you guys treating this or are you just ureteroscopy surgeons essentially <laughs> so yeah i did not like that checkup at all i was like okay I don't know what to do, but uh, I'll, I'm just going to wait out another week. I'm going to risk this. The risk here is that, okay, you can manage the pain, but you also have, a, I believe it's called hydronephrosis, where your kidney cannot empty itself in an efficient way. So basically you can get an infection. Thank God I did not get until now an infection on top of that pain. So yeah, after that, I got to another opinion because I was getting desperate. I went through a recommendation this time and uh, that doctor was a great guy. He explained everything in detail. He calmed me down. He told me all the possibilities. And he was not in a way shaming me that I didn't pass the stone on my, myself. But he was like, yeah, maybe you can because of some other reasons. Maybe your ways have closed a little bit because of the stress. They call this stenosis. Like imagine a hourglass. So essentially on the top of the hourglass is my stone and the bottom is the bladder. When the stone reaches the bladder, the worst part is gone. Because then you're going to pass through your urethra, through your pee. It's going to hurt a little bit, but it's going to be out. And also your back pain subsides completely. So at this said doctor, I went to do another ultrasound each time, by the way, when I went to the urologists, I did an ultrasound first just to know the situation, because apparently you can't do many CT scans in a row because there's a lot of uh, radiations in there. So again, a lot of water didn't pee and he could see my stone right up my bladder, hence the hourglass uh, comparison. And he's like, he, it's still not down, but it's up there. And he was also like, yeah, we don't even need to worry about the other two millimeter one. It just doesn't matter. So he was like, okay, it's a 50 50 chance. You might pass it or we might have to get it out. And he gave me an example of someone that actually was scheduled for the surgery. Everything was ready. He just has had to be in the intervention room. And uh, just one hour before he was sitting with the jar in his hand and he actually passed the stone by himself. Maybe all that stress made him push the stone. <laughs> so he was in the clear. So my doctor was like, okay, book the surgery. If you pass it before, there's no problem. You can cancel. So I was like, okay, doc, we're booking it. You're going to do it. So yeah, it is scheduled on 8th of May. By 9th of May, I should be home, but probably with the stent in, which I heard is a pretty bad experience. Never experienced it myself, but we'll see. And there's also a very, very, very small chance they need to put a JJ stent, which means they need to put the stent first, leave it there for two or three weeks, and then try to do the surgery because maybe they can't reach the stone because my ways are just way too small. But we'll have to see. Hopefully that's not the case. It's like a very small chance. So yeah, the pain is no joke. You have to drink a lot of water, stay hydrated. Even if you don't have this problem, that will help you a lot. It 
basically the more you pee the more you clean out your kidneys and that's just great so for who has experienced this you are not alone it happens I understand that women are also having a predisposition to this so stuff happens it can also happen if you have someone in the family that had it before both of my parents had stones so maybe it is just genetics maybe it's not one of my bad habits which i do have some uh beer helps it can get you to pee a lot but don't abuse it because the kidney will try a lot to clean itself out when you're having beer and you may risk that clogging that i said so you're gonna build up pressure maybe your ways are blocked and you're gonna be in pain so yeah everyone is different when passing these stones but i'm gonna still try to drink a lot of liquids to get it out but if it doesn't come out well i'm gonna have to have the surgery it's my first surgery ever by the way so my first emergency let's say needless to say i'm a little panicked but thanks to this doctor i'm only panicked and not also sad about it i just can't wait to get rid of this online it says that on average a five to six millimeter stone would pass in 45 days or something like that when i'm recording now i'm like at the 25th day so we'll see <laughs> at this moment i have no pain but i'm kind of waiting for the pain down in the bladder so i know i will pass it by myself it won't need any intervention but i guess we'll see what happens yeah so that's pretty much my experience if you have some experience with a kidney stone share it down below in the comments maybe we can help maybe we have some info and maybe we can be there for each other in these times as i said this thing comes out suddenly first time you're having this pain is insane and it can be pretty taxing mentally and physically so yeah i'm hoping for the best because it's not that big of a stone and we'll see what happens and i'll keep you posted so basically on the intervention time maybe one or two weeks i'll be offline or something like that at best but i'll keep you informed through youtube posts social media and whatever so thanks a lot for stopping by if you arrived at the end give Give it a like it helps the channel a lot maybe it helps this video to get to people who actually need to see this or need this reassurance that everything's gonna be okay in the end the pain is dramatic and stuff but it's not life-threatening as one of my doctors said and i hope i see you all healthy happy and ready to crush it in video games see you next time peace